Okay, here we go. We're going to do the gem fan. Oh, sorry, the gem fan prop first. Yes, we are. We've got 11.96 volts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see how many milliampere hours the first test does, and then I'm going to put that many milliampere hours back into the battery when I do the test of the HQ prop. So it'll give us a much more accurate comparison between the two. Now, I need to clear a bit of space on the bench. I don't want this sucking up all in sundry, the stuff lying around. You know what my bench looks like. So here we go. Let's fire this baby up and just see two figures we're looking for maximum thrust and efficiency at idle, uh, which is about 150 grams of thrust. So we'll just set the tear to zero and let's see what happens let's go for maximum thrust first i better move my piece of paper or that's going to go out the window here we go max oops um what do we got here oh, this wire pulls on the stand unfortunately i'll just move it around and reset the tear so hopefully here we go let's see what we get out of this baby So that was our maximum thrust figure. Let's go for the 150 grams of thrust and see what power it takes to do that. Right, so that's the gem fan bull nose. Let's throw the HQ prop on there and see how that works. Okay, here we go. Now we've got the HQ prop fitted. We're all ready to go. I'll put the same number of milliamps back into the battery as I took out. So we should get pretty equivalent settings. Now just move stuff out of the way here so we don't lose it. And let's fire this baby up and see what it does. So that was our full power test. Let's now go to the 150 gram hover power test and see what we get out of that, see the amount of power required to produce that 150 grams. Right, let's have a look at those figures and see what they mean. Now the Gem fan prop produced a maximum thrust uh, of about 410, 411 grams, and it produced it required 127 watts to do that, which is actually quite respectable in terms of efficiency. That's 3.2 grams of thrust per watt of power. That's not too bad compared to the HQ that produced more thrust. It produced 446 grams of thrust, but it did require 154 watts to do it. So the efficiency is lower. It's 2.9 grams per watt, which means you're going to get longer flight times on the gem fan but it's not going to be as peppy uh, so you know but it is still significantly better than the DAL unbreakable so when I do the endurance or the toughness testing of these gem fan props if they stand up to the abuse then they're probably going to be a better option than the DALs but we'll find out anyway at hover they were pretty similar actually the gem fan required 30.5 watts to give us about 150 grams and the uh, HQ required 30.6 so yeah that was you know pretty much what I'm looking at here with these figures is I'm ex it looks to me as if the gem fan prop is actually depitching at high power uh, it may be that it's a slightly softer material let's just see if we can compare them this is a pretty bodge pretty simple test but it, it doesn't always tell the truth but actually no this doesn't seem to be a lot of difference in terms of the elasticity of the materials and yeah, it's hard to tell. I'm not too sure why the gem fan um, gets more efficient. Um, or should I say, the HQ becomes less efficient at high power levels. That could actually be related to the motor, to be honest, because once you push motors too hard, the, the core tends to saturate a little, so you end up wasting power. It's not turning that extra current into more magnetism and more torque. So yeah, maybe I'll look at that in a later video. We'll do a comparison between um, what happens, or looking at what happens to brushless motors when you overdrive them and it's not always that they just get hot and fail sometimes it's just they get horrendously inefficient so yeah we'll do that in another video but in the meantime I think it's safe to say that these gem fans certainly represent a performance improvement over the DAL 5x4s and efficiency wise they are uh, quite a bit ahead of the HQ when you're really pushing it hard so unfortunately as we know I can't do any flying at the moment it's uh, there's nowhere on the on the district I'm allowed to fly legally because of the new reg so we're gonna have to put off the flight tests for a little while but there will be a flight test part to this review when I can you know I don't know I'll work something out um, and I'll, you'll be able to see how they work in the air but I know a lot of people have been using these they seem quite happy with them I know the guys at X Hover have been flying with them they seem pretty good so 
for the time being, it's a tentative thumbs up, uh, pending the flight test. Now, if you've got questions, if you've got comments, stick them on the bottom of the video. I'll do my best to answer them. And in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will get on with some more reviews. Bye for now.